Have you thanked your ecosystem today? The benefits we humans receive from ecosystems of the world are collectively referred to as ecosystem services. The Millennium Ecosystem Assessment was completed by the United Nations in 2005. According to its synthesis report, the objective was to assess the consequences of ecosystem change for human well-being and to establish the scientific basis for actions needed to enhance the conservation and sustainable use of ecosystems and their contributions to human well-being. The report identified four categories of ecosystem services important to humans, provisioning, regulating, cultural, and supporting. Think about how ecosystems sustain your life. Which ecosystem services are considered to be provisioning services? Of course, you need food, fresh water, protection in the form of clothing and shelter, and energy. How about fisheries, biochemical resources like medicines, genetic resources to improve or save plant varieties? All are tangible and consumable. These are products obtained from the ecosystem. These are provisioning services. These sustain life on a daily basis. Now, think bigger. What are regulating ecosystem services? Even though you may have these needs met, you may be miserable or not even survive in the long term. What regulating services do ecosystems provide for you? What about a livable climate, water filtration, climate regulation, including sequestering carbon, flood control, disease and pest regulation, waste recycling, pollination and seed dispersal, natural hazard regulation, and erosion control. These are regulating ecosystem services. They manage the services that keep the ecosystem functioning. Which ecosystem services are cultural services? There is certainly more to human life than fulfilling physical needs. Think bigger still. Spiritual and religious values, ecotourism, education, inspiration, heritage, sense of place, recreation, and aesthetic values. These are cultural ecosystem services. The Millennium Ecosystem Assessment describes these as the non-material things people obtain through spiritual enrichment, cognitive development, reflection, recreation, and aesthetic experiences. What supports all these needs and wants? What are supporting ecosystem services? What forms the basis of an ecosystem? Plants do photosynthesis. That is, they capture the energy of the sun to produce food and oxygen. Water is cycled through the ecosystem and nutrients are cycled through the ecosystem. These supporting ecosystem services are necessary for the production of the other services. The Millennium Ecosystem Assessment explains that supporting ecosystem services differ from provisioning, regulating, and cultural ecosystem services in that their impacts on people are often indirect or occur over a very long period of time. So to summarize the types of services ecosystems provide, Supporting services include primary production or photosynthesis, oxygen production, nutrient and water cycling, and soil formation. Provisioning services include the basic products we receive from the ecosystem, food, water, shelter, protection, medicine, and genetic resources. Regulating services maintain the balance in the ecosystem. These include water filtration, carbon uptake, flood and disease regulation, erosion control, and hazard regulation. Cultural benefits from ecosystems include spiritual solace, recreation, education, heritage, tourism, aesthetics, inspiration, and a sense of place. In 1991, four men and four women entered Biosphere 2, a man-made closed ecological system in Oracle, Arizona. It covered 3.14 acres 
and included six different ecosystems. The purpose of this human experiment was to see if the eight biospherians could be sustained by this miniature version of Earth for two years with no outside support of any kind. If the project was successful, Biosphere 2 might serve as a prototype for a human habitat on Mars or a retreat for humans on Earth during a crisis. Biosphere 2 is designed to provide all the services of Biosphere 1. In other words, the Earth. The experiment failed. The project was not able to sustain humans. What ecosystem services failed in Biosphere 2? So why can't we bottle up these ecosystem services and create a compact biosphere for human survival?